Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, you're gonna get some insights about working at Google and getting a job there, about starting a company and much, much more. So please stay tuned. Today, I have a very special guest, Richard Liu. Richard, it's so exciting to be talking to you and I'm sure my audience can learn a ton from you. Hi, everybody. Richard has been working at Google for eight years and most recently was the head of engineering of Project Fi. Project Fi is Google's mobile phone plan, but now Richard has his own company, Leap AI. Leap AI revolutionizes recruiting and uses AI for faster and better job search. I'm going to ask Richard a series of questions on his work at Google because he's been at Google for a long, long time and get some insights from him on how to get a job there. I'm also going to talk to him about his recent company, Leap AI, why he decided to make a leap. Google is a dream for a lot of people and it's a dream job for a lot of people in my audience as well. What are the top three things that you would advise software engineering applicants that want to get a job at Google? Let's start with the most obvious one. You need to get familiar with data structure mm -hmm. and algorithms. Right. You know, believe a lot, we talk about you know complexity in real life at Google. Cracking the code in the interview. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Indeed, you got to do that. So you need to get prepared for that. And also, you know, they ask you to write code on the board. So mm -hmm. you need to practice writing code using on a piece of paper or mm -hmm. on a board because it is different from writing an IDE. Obviously. Yeah. So that's number one. Number two. But in the interview, what they care more is how you think mm -hmm. than the right solution. Most people are wrong about it. They focus on getting the solution right, but without explaining right. their thought process. The real things that the interviewers really care about how you think. So make sure you explain how you think, and then that will help you quite a bit. Last but not least, is make sure you ask smart questions. Okay. So a lot of people, you know, a, a lot of people get dinged because mm -hmm. they did not ask questions or their questions were so naive. What is a naive question? You can get an answer from Google mm -hmm. or from the recruiter. Mm -hmm. Why do you waste the time with the interviewer? Ask some really good insightful question mm -hmm. about the product mm -hmm. that the interviewer is working on. If I know what you are working on, mm -hmm. I ask something related to the space right. that you are working on. Then you would say, oh, yeah, Richard does have some good insights. I have a question with respect to programming languages. What would you say is the best programming language for someone who is applying for a job at Google to learn? So in Google, the most popular languages are Java, mm -hmm. um, C++, and Python. Got it. And the Golang is also Pickup. If you know one of this one, just stay with it. Okay. And in the interview, will be cool. Even if you don't use any one of this, you mm -hmm. use another language, that's okay. Yeah. The interviewers usually are not more accommodating. Richard, you had a hugely successful career at Google. You were there for eight years and were a head of engineering for multiple products at Google, which is huge. What was your proudest moment while you were there? Proudest moment? I would have to go to a TGIF I have done when I was in Google. Okay. So TJF is, a, thanks God, it's Friday, <laughs> and basically it's an all-hands meeting, and you got a chance to present it to the entire company about your product. When we launched the Project Fi, mm -hmm. uh, we, our team, uh, four of us, get a chance to present the product to mm -hmm. the entire company. Mm -hmm. You know what? For Google products, a lot of times it's e much easier to get approval from outside than oh. inside the Googleners. Okay. Googleners are very particular, okay. criti good at critique about mm -hmm. products. So when we presented the entire thing, people were so positive about what we have done, we're so supportive about it. About it. I was really proud for what the team has achieved. So that's one for the team side. Second one, on individual side. Mm -hmm. By now you guys probably know, I have a pretty heavy accent, mm -hmm. right? Usually I was very scaled back. Mm -hmm about this type of public speaking right. because you know that's not something good for me. Mm -hmm. And then in that case, I say, you know, I was challenged by my VP before that to say, Richard, you just got to step up. Mm -hmm. You know, don't over worry about your exit. Mm -hmm. You know, that's impact has this much. 
but it's not as big as you think. So I stepped in to do the presentation mm -hmm. and actually did pretty good. That's awesome. That gave me tons of confidence. confidence. So yeah, for guys uh, on the video, if you think something you're not very good, don't overly exaggerate it. Think the impact is this big. It's mm -hmm. actually only this big. Right. Only you pay more attention to the other people. Mm -hmm. So this is my personal story. Why I think that was really proud, not only for the team, but also for myself, overcome something that I really feel proud of. Amazing. So you decided to leave Google and start your own company. Why? Indeed, Google is an amazing company. It was, it's generally would be very, very hard to leave Google. But in my mm -hmm. case, actually it was not that hard. Mm -hmm. And I also made my point to myself, before mm -hmm. I retire, I want to do a startup so that I can try what's the life of without a big company as a backing. Right. So it's just a matter of time. Mm -hmm. And after Project Five success, I saw that it's the right timing. Mm -hmm. So second one is that the domain I'm really passionate about is building a career development platform I see. to help all the people in the world to be their best with their career. Mm -hmm. And that is definitely something Google is very good at helping individuals in the company's career development. Right. But I want to say, can I build a platform? For, for everyone. For everyone in the world. Mm -hmm. And that's not something Google would be interested in. So that's why very natural for me to start a new company. So Richard, how did you come up with the idea for Leap AI and what is its vision? That's a great question. While I was in Google, I was really passionate about helping many people's career development. Mm -hmm. And for Nip.ai, I thought, why don't we build a general platform to allow many people to be benefited from our platform with their career planning, development, and whenever they do a job search, uh -huh. transition, make it super easy. Okay. So we want to be a digital career companion, help everybody to be at their best price. Looks like you guys decided to start with recruiting. Why did you decide to tackle this problem and how are you guys using AI for it? I like the point you said starting. In our case, we want to be your lifetime career companion, but we also learned that every professional care about getting the right job. In terms of AI, what AI being used? So the, really the question we're trying to answer is that for the user, and based on your experience, your passion, your strength, and what you're really ideal for, mm -hmm. and we want to figure out the right jobs for you. We not only tell you which jobs are right for you, but we also tell you the reason why, Nuba, you should think about this company, this company. We, because we feel so confident about our matches, we endorse you to our partners. Oh, wow. So that you don't have to spend the time to find referrals mm -hmm. because our referrals actually is very, very strong. 70% of the applications go through us, get interviews, which is far, far higher than any other people. That sounds amazing. I do have one follow-up question though. You mentioned matches, but some of the partner companies that you guys have on Leap AI are very, very selective companies. So what if I don't get any matches? What happens then? Actually, after we started, indeed, we signed with more than 100 companies. That's mm -hmm. pretty amazing for a startup, mm -hmm. but that means still only 100 companies and not good fit for everybody. Okay. So some of our users indeed don't have matches. Mm -hmm. And recently, the good news is recently, we expanded our, our, our offering. We not only do this intelligent matches, but also we build a smart job board. We get all the tech jobs from all the companies, from the large giant tech companies, Google, Facebook, mm -hmm. to the unicorns, to the baby unicorns, to the early stage startups. Mm -hmm. We have more than 100,000 jobs on the site. And then you can come in to search, browse, and to apply. And so that's one thing that we, we mm -hmm. offer to everybody. You're doing so many amazing things. Thank you so much for elaborating on your career journey and on Leap AI. When you were a little kid or when you were back in university, have you ever imagined that you were going to be working for the biggest search engine in the world, one of the biggest, the coolest tech companies in the world, and eventually starting your own tech companies that is helping people all over the world finding jobs here in Silicon Valley? When I was a kid, I came from China, Sichuan province. I grew up in the countryside, nearly with big mountains. And you can tell my age. At that time, China was very poor. All I want is just a bowl of rice. And going to college was just a really natural thinking.
because not too many people in my in my village went to college. And then, you know, I just continue for myself. I just say, okay, I want to be the best that I can be. I just keep on, you know, going, study hard, and then I got into a very good school, and then later on got into Tsinghua in China. That's the best school in China. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever set myself with a particular very, very high goal, with a lifetime goal. I always do say, at this moment, I try to do my best, and for the foreseeable future, here's a goal, and I work hard for it. And I saw every time I realized, oh, geez, I can do way more than what I thought I can do. Then life is just gradually taking me to higher and higher challenges. So I'm very, very pleased today. I'm taking this new challenge, build a you know digital career company for everybody in the world. Wow, that's such an amazing story. I think and hope that your story and your journey is going to inspire a lot of people. And I personally, I'm really excited to see where Leap AI goes and how it's going to revolutionize the recruiting industry. If you guys want to check out Leap AI, I'm going to leave the link down below. And if you use my link and you end up getting a job on the platform on Leap AI, you will get a thousand dollar bonus on top of the job offer that you will get there. So so please make sure to check it out. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the video. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you put the notification button on so that you know when new content is coming out. And I will see you guys very soon. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Make sure to check out Leap AI and bye for now.